Okay, so from here, let me tell you a brief introduction about our history here in Alexandria, because our history here in Alexandria started in 331 BC, when Alexander the Great once to came and conquered Alexandria or Egypt actually, and he entered to Egypt without any war, because Alexander the Great he was very clever to know that to enter to Egypt without any war you must have the key. What was the key? It was the religion. If you respect the ancient religion, the Egyptians will accept you. Because of that, when Alexander the Great came here, he was very clever and he started to accept and respect the ancient religion. And because the Egyptians here, they were suffering from the Persians, so they accept Alexander the Great to be the king. So Alexander the Great entered without any war and even he wants to cornish as any pharaonic people do in a temple, okay? And actually this temple, the most near temple for him, it was in the far western side of Alexandria, okay? So in his way to this temple, he found a small village. The name of this village was Rakuda, okay? A fisherman's village and in the northern side, it was an island. The name of this island, the Pharaoh Island. So you can imagine here, the village, here the island, he think that if he connect the village with the island by a bridge, he can make the eastern and the western port of Alexandria. Okay, so he start to give the order to build this bridge or he give the order for the soldiers to build this bridge and also he give the order to build Alexandria in the same location of Rakuda to be the first Greek capital. He just gave the order but he didn't saw the city when it was finished because Alexander the Great spent here only nine months in Egypt and after that he's, he left Egypt to continue his way and his war in Asia and in Asia he was dead or killed because till now we are not sure about his death. Some people said that he was killed in the gates of India some people said that someone put his the, put the poison for him in his food in Persia and some another said no he has a fever and diseased and after that he was dead so till now we are not sure about his death but anyway after his death they divided the Greek kingdom and one of his soldier Ptolemy the first came here to be the king of Egypt and actually Ptolemy the first he continued everything in Alexandria and he gave the order to build the lighthouse, the library, the palaces, the streets and everything in Alexandria. So Ptolemy the first came after Alexander the Great to start the Ptolemaic period or the Greek period and we have here 14 names with the same name or sorry 14 king with the same name Ptolemy starting from Ptolemy the first ending with Ptolemy the 14 and Ptolemy the 14 he was the son of Cleopatra you know the famous lovers Cleopatra and Mark Antony so Cleopatra she was the last queen who ruled Egypt we have seven queens with the same name Cleopatra but the most famous one she was the last one Cleopatra the seventh she ruled Egypt and actually when Mark Antony, the Roman leader, came here, he fell in love with Cleopatra. And actually he decided to stay here with Cleopatra and married from Cleopatra. Octavius, another Roman leader, he didn't like this idea. Because of that, he told Mark Antony that he must leave Egypt and return once more to Rome. But Mark Antony refused that and he wants to continue his life with Cleopatra. Because of that, Octavius, the Roman leader, he made a huge war. The name of this war, Actium War, which was between the Romans with the leader, his name is Octavius, against the Egyptians with the two leaders, Cleopatra and Mark Antony. In this war, Mark Antony was killed and Cleopatra, even she was suicide or killed because also we are not sure about her death. Some people said that she was suicide by a cobra, bite her, after she knew that Mark Antony, her love, was killed. And another people said no, that Octavius, when he came here, he killed Cleopatra. We are not sure about her death and also till now we didn't find the tomb of Cleopatra. Because of that, till now, it's a big question mark for us. But anyway, in 30 BC, we started the Roman period with the leader, his name is Octavius. And actually, he was the first one who ruled Egypt during the Roman period. And actually, the Roman period, it wasn't a good period for the Egyptians. Because in the beginning of the Roman reign, they didn't respect the ancient religion. And even they entered to the temples, the Egyptians' temples, with the horses. So in the beginning, they didn't 
respect the ancient religion and even when the christianity started here in 80 bc 80 ad i'm sorry that romans didn't like the idea of the christ and the christianity because of that they start to kill everyone who said i'm a christian so most of the roman period it was very bad period for the egyptians but also alexandria it was the capital during all of this period in 640 came here a muslim leader his name is amr ibn ras he came and he did like alexander the great he entered without any war because the egyptians were suffering from the romans and amr ibn ras respected the christianity and respected the ancient religion because of that the, the egyptians here they accept and they help amr ibn ras to enter to egypt and actually amr ibn ras he was the, the first one who transferred the capital from alexandria into al fustat part of cairo and actually till now alexandria considered the second capital the summer capital is the second largest city in egypt and actually we have here the main port the, the western port the main port in all over the mediterranean sea not only in egypt okay